Hey guys, it's Vesper and Killy here, and we're going to do the Bison Breakdown with all the recorded footage that we got from E3. We didn't get too much footage, but we were there for three days, so we will go over all of his normals, specials, his super, maybe some combo stuff, and, you know, just get you guys caught up so you're ready for the beta. Alright, so let's start with Bison's movement speed. It's pretty damn slow, Killy. Would you agree that's like the same as Nash, I'd say? Uh, more or less. Might be the slowest walk speed in the game. It's possible, man. Yeah, Bison's movement speed is just, as you guys can see, it's just, it's absolutely terrible. But his dash is fine. Um, his forward dash and back dash still cover a lot of ground, but most of the dashes in Street Fighter V are good in general. As you guys can see, that his jump is also um, pretty damn high and it covers a lot of ground. And it's slightly floaty, not like Chun-Li floaty, but uh, it's still pretty easy to anti-air, you'd say, hey? Yeah, about comparable to how it was in SF4. Mm. Alright, so let's talk about Bison's notable normals. I'm showing you guys his standing normals first. This is light, medium, hard punch, and to light, medium, hard, and kick in that order. So let's start with um, his standing medium punch. His standing medium punch is pretty good as a combo starter, and uh, it can even combo into another crouching medium punch right after, too. Yeah, it's kind of like um, Ryu, where you can go stand strong, or stand medium punch, stand medium punch, crouch. Yeah, crouch. it's not exactly like, as you guys can see, the range is not perfect, it's kind of like a poking tool. But it's really good as a combo starter. And then uh, let's talk about his standing hard punch now. His standing hard punch is amazing in this game. Um, it's got insane range, special cancelables, uh, just like his standing medium punch. Um, it's just really good poke and it just controls space and you can just basically throw it out. It's, it's really deceiving how far the range is. Yeah, you just have to be a little bit careful because it is slow on startup and slow recovery. So you can get whiff punished. Um, yeah, it's, it's still like it's still a hard punch yeah. normal like after all right, but but yeah the space control like it, it, You can tell that with his slow walk speed. He's meant to be a brick wall. Yeah, for sure Exactly. He's not like a super footsie kind of guy with his no. movement, but he's more like just non-stop pressure You know what I mean? Yeah, so this normal really helps him in, in maintaining that control mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about his standing light kick now. It's pretty much his go-to like hit confirm tool basically for all of his bread and butters it chains um, you can pretty much just go like standing like a couple times, you know what I mean, yeah. into his uh, knee press. So his standing light kick is pretty good, so don't forget about that. Um, standing medium kick is a decent poke, like his leg sticks out. Uh, it's a little faster than standing hard punch, so you can use that. But the range, I don't know, it's not really the same. It's not quite like SF4 level. It might feel that way a little bit, but it's yeah. still like it's still a poke worth using. Yeah, it's 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 worth it if the opponent is like a little closer and you don't want to you know risk getting like someone jumping in on you or something while you're recovering from your standing hard punch. So don't forget about uh, using standing medium kick as a poke. Now let's talk about his new standing hard kick. Now, um, when you just glance at it, it looks like it's not as good as Street Fighter 4 because, you know, in Street Fighter 4, Bison's hard kick was infamous. It was so quick, you know, excellent poke, uh, beat a lot of things. But in this game, his standing hard kick can actually be used as a reliable anti-air now. So it comes out kind of slow, but it's, it's good enough. It's got a good hitbox on it. Um, if you happen to land a counter hit with it when the opponent's jumping, on you, jumping in on you, it causes a juggle state so you can follow up with another attack right after. Yeah, so you can go after the counter hit. You can you combo into scissors, short scissors. After. Does it does it hit twice on the scissors? Uh, I think it does. If I remember, that means right. it combos into a bunch of other stuff too. Yeah. Then you know what I mean? Like maybe Psycho Inferno or something crazy like that, or even like Super. So uh, yeah, his standing hard kick is a good anti-air, guys. Don't forget about that. It can also link into crouching medium punch. Uh, Which is absolutely insane. Yeah, I mean crouching medium punch can link afterwards. Sorry. Right? It's, it's yeah, yeah. after, yeah, okay. Yeah. And uh, it also, um, if the opponent is crouching, even though it looks like it hits pretty high, it still hits them if they're blocking or hitting or ducking, basically. Yeah. So don't forget, don't worry about that too if you're like right up to the opponent. All right, so moving on to crouching normals. Uh, his crouching light punch is basically combo filler. Um, it's probably one of his fastest normals just by looking at it. So it's pretty much your go to, just like a standing light kick would be. Um, just combo filler stuff. Crouching medium punch is an uh, excellent poke. I think this will be, you guys will be abusing this the most, especially after block knee presses. Um, it's Like I said, it's one of your main pressure tools. Uh, special cancelable, links into itself. You can go crouching medium punch in the crouching medium punch. So it's, it's really, really good. It doesn't hit low though, but that's about the only bad thing I could say about it. Um, his crouching hard punch. Now it looks very similar to Street Fighter 4, 
but it comes out a little faster I'd say and it's a lot more reliable as an anti-air because it's got a really good vertical hitbox on it. Um, I've seen it used a few times during E3 so you guys don't have to be too scared about trading stuff like that as long as you uh, anticipate the opponent's jump and use it quite early it is another good anti-air option because uh, the standing hard kick is more of like a diagonal yeah. kind of angle if they're jumping towards you whereas uh, you know his crouching hard punch is like a straight vertical right above your head kind of thing and then his crouching hard kick which is a slide you guys recognize it from all of his previous Street Fighter titles it still causes a knockdown on hit and obviously it's got a ton of active frames so you guys don't want to do this like right up close in your face <laughs> unless you want to get blown up you know what I mean so uh, yeah don't use it very close uh, if you can use it like meaty really far away, you can make it relatively safe, you know what I mean? And just catch them sleeping if they're standing walking back and forth. Yeah. Now, uh, this is his crush counter, right? His only crush counter. Okay, so Bison only goes one crush counter. It's kind of strange because most of the characters is like a standing uh, hard punch or hard kick, but Bison's is a slide, crouching hard kick. So it's a low hitting crush counter. Um, it would be pretty damn hard to land as a crush counter since there's so many active frames on it. It'd be extremely risky to do. Especially to bait someone uh, doing this, but if you do get it, the reward is huge because you actually get a juggle effect. And then if you hit him with a crush counter, the opponent will flip up in the air vertically, and then you can follow up with something, such as a cycle blast, even a, um, a super. We haven't been able to test it out much because obviously, because it's really hard to set up. But um, one thing you guys got to keep in mind: if you do a crush counter with this right up uh, to the opponent, you'll actually cross them up. So you guys have to anticipate that when you're buffering a charge for one of your special attacks or something like that, you'll have to switch the sides. Yeah. Anything else you want to talk about with this slide? Uh, if you guys want to remember how it looks like, it was in the reveal trailer that. that yeah, 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 yeah. So in the in the Bison trailer too, guys, it actually shows uh, a setup with his slide, which is a counter hit in the trailer. So you guys want to check that out too if you want to see how it looks. All right, so jumping normals now. Um, Bison's jumping medium punch returns, but it's a little different this time. This time, when you whiff it in the air, you actually can't uh, do two medium punches. You can only do one. So it's not until you actually make contact with your opponent, so when you hit them, then you can do two medium punches in a row, which puts them into that juggle state. And you can, you know, juggle just as usual as you could in Street Fighter 4 with a, a super or a, a light punch version of his Psycho Inferno into super. I think it's only in the corner, though. I'm not sure, though. Um, I'm not sure if it's counter hit. Yeah, I saw Justin do it. it. He did it with a counter hit, so I'm not too sure, guys, but you guys want to experiment with it. It does put him in a juggle state, though, so we're not sure exactly what you can combo after. So keep that in mind. You can't just, like, do jumping, constantly pressing medium punches. No. It can only do one in the air. But it's really good for air-to-air -air situations, obviously. You do it in sort of... Um, you can even do it reactionary. Mm -hmm. Jump in. Yeah. Uh, it's just really... It's a really, really strong tool. I mean, given his slow walk speed, medium punch is really good at um, controlling space yeah you just can't do like a jumping medium punch like yolo and then as you're descending throw another one to like cover your tracks on the opponent kind yeah. of thing so this this is more like um, reactionary or hard read yeah in anticipation to their jump yeah okay bison's jumping hard punch is as amazing as usual just like it was in street fighter 4 it's got an amazing hitbox um because of this it'll have really good priority over other anti-air normals from other characters so if their anti-airs are not perfect at the right angle um, Bison's jumping hard punch will just straight out beat it it's just so good because it's got a really good vertical hitbox and even like Bison's uh, his hurtbox like himself is at a good like position too you know what I mean so yeah. he can like avoid attacks because he's moving himself backwards in the He's got like that Superman pose, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah it's so it kind of moves his hurt box backwards, and so it's harder to anti-air. Like I remember, it was beating uh, Birdie's crouch medium punch mm -hmm. anti-air, and that that crouch medium punch anti-air is amazing. So, yeah, so it just uh, speaks to how good this jump then is. So for the most part, it's generally like your go-to uh, jumping normal. You guys want to use? So jumping medium kick is his cross-up again in this game for Street Fighter V, so use Bison's Jumping Medium Kick for cross-ups, but otherwise it's just, yeah, pretty much the same. Um, jumping Hard Kick also is pretty much the same as well, it's got really good horizontal range. Um, you would use this mostly if you're anticipating uh, a projectile and you're jumping over it and you want to hit the opponent from really far away. And uh, yeah, I guess it would be good as an air-to-air as well, if the opponent is jumping as well. Yeah, but. if you're that farther range than uh, Jump Medium Punch, then you want to use Jump uh, Heavy Hard. kick yeah. to uh, go air to air with them. Now Bison has only one command normal Street Fighter V that we at least found anyways. It's down forward and hard punch. So diagonal down forward hard punch. 
Um, it does two hits. It looks like an overhead. Uh, it's really strange. We didn't really know what this was for. Like first, I thought it was an overhead, but it's not. We actually have footage of him crouching and blocking it. But uh, this is actually a Punisher because you can link a crouching medium punch after it. So you can do some serious damage with this. That's the only thing that we've found with this move. Uh, it comes out pretty damn slow. So I wouldn't do it unless you have like a guaranteed hit kind of thing. It's not something you just want to throw out. Like after stun or maybe um, a block or whiff DP, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Moving on to special moves now. Let's start with Bison's double knee press, which returns. This is charge back and then forward and kick. Uh, the light kick version seems pretty safe, man. Seems pretty much the same as Street Fighter 4. Uh, it's Bison's main pressure tool. Uh, you'll be using this for <laughs> just that's how Bison gets close, basically. You know what I mean? Like I said, he's really not like a footsie kind of character. He's got excellent normals, but you're most of the time you're closing in on your opponent while pressuring at the same time with the double knee press. Um, the harder version uh, that you use for this makes them travel further, so obviously you gotta be careful, like you don't wanna use the hard kick version right up to the opponent, you're gonna get blown up. Uh, you have to make sure you understand your distances so you land with the last hit of it, make sure it's meaty, so it makes it safe. But up close, like I said, it seems like the leg kick version um, is pretty damn safe on block. Anything else you wanna add about this? You're mostly gonna be using this after like a, a block crouch medium punch and then you cancel to scissors and you just kind of loop it. Yeah, 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 like most of the time you'll do something like crouching crouching medium punch into light scissors, uh, knee press I mean, into another crouching medium punch, you know, etc. and just keep going with that. It's just such good free pressure, good chip, uh, gives you a lot of meter, you know, it's pretty much the same as Street Fighter 4. Uh, his EX version of the double knee press, um, supposedly it causes a hard knockdown. I don't know for sure, I didn't really test it out, but from what I've heard, it's supposed to cause a hard knockdown. Uh, which is pretty interesting, because there's very, very few hard knockdowns in Street Fighter V. So keep that in mind. Um, I haven't really seen a huge use for this, other uh, besides it being a damage finisher. And uh, when Bison lands this, he kind of hops back a bit. Like, he's not really in the opponent's face. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about the double knee press, the obvious thing, it doesn't knock down anymore. Oh, yeah. Uh, it keeps the opponent standing. So it's, it's, it looks weird at first, but there's a huge reason for this uh, regarding his V-Trigger, which we'll explain later in this video. Next special move we have is Bison's Cycle Blast. This is done by charging back and then pressing forward punch. This is pretty much replacing a Cycle Crusher, so this is kind of like a new attack. Um, the lighter the version you use for this, the faster it comes out, but it, you really can't tell the difference. It's, it comes out fast in general. Uh, there's not too many uses for this move, honestly. It causes a knockdown, and it can nullify a one-hit projectile. But for the most part, it's just a combo filler. Combo filler, and it can sort of anti-air. It's really ghetto, though. I wouldn't recommend using this anti-air. There's, it's, there's better it's right in front of him. Like, it's right in front of him. There's, there's very few uses for it as an anti-air. But for the most part, it's used uh, just to knock down the opponent. And uh, in some cases, um, you can actually OTG the opponent with your head press after comboing into it. But, uh, like I said, I haven't been able to test it out that much, guys. Now, the EX version of this move seems a lot more useful. What happens is, uh, it turns into a slow-moving projectile. Uh, but it doesn't go full screen, though. Keep that in mind. But it still causes a knockdown, and uh, once it reaches reaches its max range, if it doesn't hit the opponent, it kind of, like, uh, blows up, like it ignites, yeah. and the hitbox becomes a little bit larger. So it's kind of good for mounting offense. You use it as a shield as you approach in. Yeah, because there's not too many games where Bison has a projectile, so there is a lot of utility to this uh, for covering some ground here. Uh, you also recover much faster when you, do, when you do the EX version, so it makes it a lot easier to do that OTG. I was just talking about where you can OTG with the head press afterwards. So like I said, it still causes that knockdown. Okay, moving on to Bison's head press. This is done by charging down and then pressing up and kick. So the head press returns, this is Bison's stomp kick basically. Um, all strengths of this move are the same in Street Fighter V, so it doesn't matter what kick button you use, and it also still tracks the opponent wherever he's standing. Um, it does an overhead, uh, but there's a weird thing about this, and <laughs> me and Killer were testing this out, but it causes a cross up if you're just standing still. It's really weird, because in Street Fighter V when you land a cross up in this game, uh, it actually says cross up on the screen. So if the opponent's just standing still and you do it, it does a cross up. But the weird part is, if you just block it normally, it, it doesn't cross up. So like, do you understand why this is? Uh, well, if you block it uh, crouching, also mm -hmm. causes a cross up. Yeah, so, I think, so it's a cross up overhead. <laughs> so I think what happens is like, if you're blocking it standing, 
uh, the proximity guard doesn't kick in right away. Mm -hmm. And then, um, but if you're stationary, since the proximity, since your uh, proximity guard doesn't kick in right away, mm -hmm. it kind of causes this cross-up scenario here. Mm -hmm. um, this also leads into his other special attacks, such as Skull Diver and Devil Reverse. So keep that in mind, it's all tied in with his head press now. Uh, after you do land a hit with it on block, you can control where you go afterwards because Bison kind of jumps off the opponent and you can follow up with something. So you have some slight control after that. Uh, but keep in mind that uh, like, like you're pretty much safe after you, the opponent blocks it because you can move yourself around, but you can easily get punished mid-air before you land on, him, land on him in the first place. Um, and like I said before guys, you can OTG with this in very very specific situations and I could barely find anything. It was mostly off the cycle sphere. But it, it might not really work because the opponent can quick rise. Yeah, quick rise. Like, it's it's kind of strange. Like, the opponent, you can quick rise on so many things in Street Fighter V. So, it's not really practical because if you use the OTG, the opponent's just going to quick rise and punish you for it. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, it's kind of strange. We're going to have to see when the beta comes out the actual uses for this. So Bison's Devil Reverse returns in Street Fighter V, but this time it's done during your head press. So when you do your head press, you press punch before you actually stomp on the opponent's head. So those moves are kind of tied in together now. Um, so it's a little different than Street Fighter IV. Uh, when, you're, when you do the Devil Reverse, you can slightly control the descent, and you can kind of delay it too, like I said, as long as you do it before you actually stomp on the opponent's head. Um, there is no EX version of this move because uh, the EX version of the head stop, you can't cancel anything out of it. So it's a lot different in this game. So because of that, you cannot do double reverse at all on the EX version. But it still causes a knockdown. Okay, so the Skull Diver, this is after you do the head press, and then you can follow up by pressing punch. This is exactly the same as Street Fighter 4. Um, you also cannot cross up with it. So even if you uh, control Bison so he lands on the other side, he's still going to attack from the direction that you came from in the first place. So that kind of sucks, I guess. There's yeah. not really too many uses with it, honestly. You can try to juke your opponent as much as you can, but he's always gonna know you're always gonna attack from the same side you came. So for the most part, it's similar to Street Fighter 4. I haven't tested that you can follow up with anything after it, because it doesn't knock the opponent down. So no. you probably could cancel something out of it, but we haven't been able to test anything. So you guys can check that out. Finally, we have the EX head press. Um, it's a little different in Street Fighter 5 because uh, it becomes a single attack and you can't cancel out of it this time. So when you do it, you'll just kind of go straight down on the opponent. So um, if it does hit the opponent, it hits them twice. It does quite a bit of damage. Um, if the opponent blocks it, you land right in front of the opponent. You don't get to jump off. So like I said, you can't do a Skull Diver or cancel it into, uh, what's it called? Devil Reverse. So um, when you do land a hit on it though, Bison kind of leaps back a little bit and uh, recovers you know, slightly away from the opponent. Um, this can also OTG just like the normal head press can if your opponent's lying on the ground. But keep in mind that this is not invincible anymore. So you can't just spam this and use it as a reversal option anymore. Um, you can just get hit right out of it. So keep that in mind. One more thing to note with the EX head press is that you're also able to land in front of the opponent if you want. So next we have Psycho Inferno. This is a brand new move for Bison. Um, and you do this by going charging down, then up, and pressing punch. Yeah, like it rever it takes away his Devil's Reverse from Street Fighter 4 basically, it's replacing it. Yeah. So each strength of Psycho Inferno increases the hit count by one. So light uh, does three hits, medium does uh, four hits, and heavy does five hits. Uh, it knocks the opponent up and causes a knockdown. Um, it's kind of slow on startup. It's very slow, man. It's not really good anti-air. Like, you can't use it as a reactionary anti-air. It was one of the first things people were testing. But it is a it. detached hitbox, though, because it yeah. hits right in front of Bison. So it has this big pillar of flame that's right in front of Bison. It can anti-air if you do it early enough, but it's not good as an anti-air. It's just way too slow for that. Uh, it nullifies um, one hit of projectiles. Uh, and it's a very good uh, pressure tool. You're mostly going to be using it after cancelling out of um, crouching medium punch. And it just, it's in crazy pressure. It's it does, amazing. It it's does amazing. good chip damage. The pushback is good, so you can just continue pressuring the opponent. You don't want to just keep doing knee press over and over. You want to mix this into your as your pressure tool. Yeah, and mostly because there's a delay. Like, it's not, it's not fast startup. So when you do crouch uh, medium punch into Psycho Inferno, there's a gap in between. And because of, there's a gap, it's great at, like, catching buttons mm -hmm. uh, in between. So it's really good. Um, you can do some kind of tricky stuff where um, if you hit the 
some uh, air to air and you land next to them. Since you land first, you can go right into Psycho Inferno and then it's super meaty that way. Mm -hmm. And so you get that frame advantage and it's just really good. Yeah, he pull. seems like super plus on block if you happen to do it, uh, pull it out and it's like as a meaty, it just looks super plus. Now the EX version uh, is much faster on startup and it creates two pillars on both sides of bison so, yeah uh, a little bit more reliable as an anti-air i still wouldn't really use it for that purpose yeah because it just doesn't do that much damage yeah. because if you use the anti-air you're not going to do all the hits it does five hits the ex version and if you don't land it it's, eh, it's you know like you're using one bar kind of thing but it's re it's reliable i would say like because it since it hits on both sides yeah. you know what i mean it, it kind of is his like only good reversal option i, I think they arms. literally put in this game as his reversal option i don't think it's invincible on startup though i can't remember that. i'm not sure but if there's any like reversal you're gonna do if you're panicking this would be the move like yeah. i can't think of any other true use for this but uh on block it's crazy like you want to mix this in when you're pressuring with the regular ones you want to throw in the ex one uh every once in a while because of the faster startup the more chip the more frame value like it's just it's crazy mm -hmm. okay so let's talk about bison's v skill now now the v skill it's got quite a bit of uses here so let's just start from the top first off it can nullify a single hit projectile when you just tap the medium buttons so Bison will like wave around his hand and basically just nullify a projectile. If it's something like an EX projectile, anything that does more than one hit, Bison will just get hit like he normally would, as if the move didn't do nothing. Um, it can be held down after you nullify uh, a projectile, and then Bison will automatically throw back his own projectile. Now this, uh, this projectile comes out much faster. It doesn't matter what uh, speed the projectile that Bison nullified, Bison's other projectile that he fires back will always be super fast. And it does two hits and it causes a knockdown. Doing two hits is really important to know because if the opponent recovers and he throws another projectile, this will eat right through it and hit him basically. So it's really good to stop like um, some constant like zoning basically. Um, if you, you can still use this though on non-projectile hits such as normals and special moves. And uh, what will happen is if when you tap the V skill, he will throw out the projectile automatically so no matter what if you tap it bison will automatically throw the projectile out so you can't uh decide if you just want to use it as a parry for example against normal attacks so you have to commit um it does gain you v gauge uh about one third of one stock of v gauge but only when bison throws the projectile basically so you can't just use it um to nullify projectile for example and then not fire one back you won't gain any v gauge at all for it uh, you have to throw the projectile back. And so basically against normals and specials where he automatically throws the projectile back, you will gain, like I said, one third of one stock, basically, of V-Gage. And you don't have to worry about the projectile hitting. Uh, you'll gain it instantly. As soon as Bison goes into that animation, he'll start gaining uh, V-Gage. Can't be used against lows. No. Uh, like I said, it's not a parry. Uh, you can't think of it like a parry, like Ryu. Uh, you don't have to... So you have to worry. So if the opponent hits you with a low attack, You'll get hit, and even one time we saw a counter hit, but we're not too sure because we have some footage where he's not getting counter hit, and sometimes he is. So I don't really know what's going on there. So just keep in mind, you can't throw it out and think you're like, you know, you're playing third straight kind of thing. Okay, so Bison's V reversal, nothing crazy. <laughs> kind of looks like his startup of his super. It does, it does. It looks like it's the same animation. I wouldn't be surprised if they changed it later, but uh, it causes a knockdown on hit. So, and the opponent looks like he's got to be pretty close when you're using it kind of thing, so. It's kind of slow on startup. It is stuff, kind of but slow. the hitbox is pretty big on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, more or less, it's the same as other V reversals, I'd yeah. say. Okay, now we're looking at his V trigger. Um, the first thing you'll notice with the V trigger is that it changes his dash into uh, short range teleports. And this really speeds up Bison. Like, it goes from being a slow... Uh, controlling space to a rush down character. Yeah, this is one of the most unique V triggers in the game so far, I'd say. So, the properties of the teleport, um, it looks like it has slight startup invincibility. It can go through projectiles, uh, go through some normals if you time it correctly. Like, Bison literally vanishes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it just, it's crazy. It's crazy fast. Um, it actually goes right through the opponent, but it doesn't switch Bison's, uh, the direction that Bison's facing afterwards. So, if you dash through the opponent, 
Bison is uh, still facing on the same side that he I think they did on did. purpose, basically just easier to punish him, yeah. kind of thing. It is punishable. There is recovery on the teleport, so you can punish him uh, afterwards, like a throw or a uh, fast normal. Yeah, it's not like you, you know, you're using X Factor and you can just you know roll your eyes back and just go crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? You have still have to put some thought into what you're doing. It but he's a million times faster. Yeah. Uh, and it only augments his forward dash. The back dash doesn't get that same teleport. Oh yeah, don't forget that. He only teleports yeah, on the forward dash. Um, it does augment all of his special moves in some way, uh, but it drains his V trigger or his V gauge uh, as it's running down. The timer, yeah. So about 10% each time you use a special or even a EX special. Yeah, I'd say so. Every time he uses it, the timer drains by about yeah 10%. So uh, going over his V trigger specials, start with uh, his knee press. Yeah, so the V trigger version of his double knee press, um, Bison briefly vanishes for about I'd say half a second on startup. Uh, we're honestly not too sure what this does. Like, do you think this means he's invincible <laughs> when yeah, he does it? We, we didn't get to test too. It's hard, far. man. Yeah, couldn't really test it. Um, the EX version also vanishes right at the startup, and then after you land a hit with it. When instead of Bison jumping back, he kind of teleports back instead. Yeah. And uh, it looks like it's a faster recovery because of this. Now Bison's V-Trigger version of his Cycle Blast. Uh, it basically has a bigger hitbox. It looks like it's the exact hitbox of the EX version when it detonates uh, at full range, basically. Um, the only thing we really notice about this is that the EX version of the Cycle Blast, the projectile moves a lot faster when your V-Trigger is activated. Can't really follow after it like you could with the regular. Yeah, that's that kind of sucks. It kind of seems like they did it on purpose because what I was thinking of doing as a EX cycle blast and then using your dash teleport to cross up the opponent and cause like some kind of crazy mix up situation. But since it moves so fast, I don't know if you can really do it, but we haven't tested it. So looking at his uh, V trigger head press, it causes a knockdown on hit now. Um, on block, it just makes Bison land right in front of him. So when he, when you block uh, the V trigger head press, he just kind of continues going down instead of flipping back. Yeah. Uh, so um, because of this, you can't really do the Skull Diver follow up during V trigger. Nope. And the uh, EX version teleports on startup, and then appears right above the opponent, and he comes straight down. Uh, and it's a lot faster because of that. Yeah. Um, and after it hits. Uh, he teleports away, and I think it recovers faster as well. Mm -hmm. So like I said, just like the normal EX version of the head press, you can't cancel into uh, double reverse with it, and you cannot follow up with Skull Diver because like I said, it hits straight down. But the normal version of the head press, you can cancel into double reverse. So like I said, the V trigger version of double reverse, um, this time when you do it, uh, Bison just teleports <laughs> just magically to the opposite side where the opponent uh, is standing on the startup. And then because of this, it crosses up. And then it uh, doesn't drain any additional V gauge uh, meter after you do this because you've already drained it from doing the, the head press in the first place, right? So this is really tricky, but it's kind of gimmicky. You know what I mean? Like when you see it the first time, you definitely won't be able to block it because it, com it comes out so fast because it just switches sides. But after a while, I think people will see this coming like a mile away kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because just like uh, the normal version, it's just like you can't cross up with it in the first place, but this one is like you can only cross up with it. You know, it's kind of weird, right? So looking at his V Trigger Psycho Inferno, the thing is crazy in V Trigger. <laughs> like the hitbox is huge. It, now. Yeah, it's, like, it's goes massive. Up right to the top of the screen. It's massive. Yeah, it's massive. So both normal and EX version, they just have increased uh, hitboxes. Yeah, hitbox size is huge. That's pretty much it for it, though. Yeah, same amount of hits, that kind of thing. Okay, so like I said before, Bison's V-Trigger is really unique. So Bison has the ability to teleport when he does his dashes, and it augments all of his special attacks in some way. But there is one more thing that he can do, which we didn't discover until like the last hour of E3, so we couldn't test it out that much. But Bison gains the ability to cancel his special moves into special moves, basically. More specifically, his specials into EX specials. Um, he can also cancel his EX specials into other EX specials. So this could be done on hit or block, it doesn't matter. And uh, when he does cancel into it, it doesn't require a charge anymore. So for example, let's say we did Bison's double knee press, and then we wanted to cancel it into his EX Cycle Sphere. EX Cycle Sphere is done by charging back and then pressing forward and two punches, but instead you just press back forward, two punches. So that's like there's no charge at all. Okay, so this is really, really crazy. 
So one example of a combo I can tell you guys is you can do double knee press into EX, EX Cycle Sphere, EX Cycle Inferno, into EX uh, Head Press, basically. <laughs> so you can use all three of your meter and do three EX specials in a row. So just, you know, special EX, EX, EX. Um, it does a lot of damage and uh, you can do a lot of combinations because of this. So I'm not really sure what like the optimized combo is. Uh, keep in mind if you do EX Cycle Sphere first, um, the EX Cycle Inferno won't land all the hits because it does five hits in general. So you'll lose some damage there. And then sometimes the EX uh, Head Press, it won't do the two hits. It'll only do one hit. It almost seems like you have to OTG with it uh, or you have to hit the opponent straight up on the ground. Like if you juggle with it, it'll only do one. You'll lose a lot of damage doing it that way. I don't have too, like, too much footage of actually showing this, guys, because like I said, it was during the last hour and I was kind of panicking and I was testing a lot of it out before I was able to record and set up the tripod and that kind of stuff. So just to clarify a few things, guys, once again, it can be done on hit or block. Um, it doesn't have to be the double knee press. I'm pretty sure you can uh, cancel other things too, like using his normal uh, sphere into EX, another EX move. You cannot use the same EX special, EX special twice in a row. So you can't do EX Cycle Sphere, EX Cycle Sphere. It has to be a different one, but you don't have to charge. So uh, when, we, when the beta starts, guys, there's gonna be a lot of testing on this, especially on what um, the optimized combo would be. And uh, I'm not sure if you necessarily want to use all three meter because of the scaling, but using two in a row it does a lot of damage just in general. Just doing like uh, double knee press into EX Cycle Sphere into EX Head Stomp would be just insane, right? His head press. Uh, so you don't necessarily want to use supers sometimes when you have your V trigger up, just because, you know what I mean? It just does so much damage. So looking at his critical art, um, it's a single hit. Uh, and it captures afterwards and then you get the full animation. Um, on startup, he has that purple aura that surrounds him. So that's the general hitbox of the critical art. Which is his entire body, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. Like, it's fast startup and it's an excellent anti-air. Like, once Bison has full super or EX meter... You don't want to jump in uh, on you him. You can't jump in on him. He will uh, just super here on reaction. Yeah. Furthermore, he can actually just go uh, V-trigger activation and see what you're doing first. And then if he sees you jumping, he can go super right after. Yeah, that's a really good example. You, you, you use the freezing of the screen when you activate as a way to just see what your opponent is doing. If he happens to be in mid air, he's screwed, basically. Kind of like uh, Tiger Scar. Yeah, I guess so, hey? Yeah. So very similar properties, um, does a lot of damage, and you can juggle into it off of his uh, jump medium punch. Yeah, so it's really good as a combo tool as well. Uh, one thing you guys gotta keep in mind that the initial hits, like it does a bunch of hits before it goes into full animation, and I've seen this a couple times, kind of wonky, they might fix it later, but if you hit during the last few hits, like say you do it uh, before your opponent uh, jumps in on you, and they just kind of land into the last active frames of it, it won't go into full animation. Yeah, it doesn't capture at that point. Yeah, they'll just kind of fall down. I'm pretty sure they'll change that later, so it'll snag you no matter what hit you land to it. So keep that in mind. It also can nullify a projectile. <laughs> very <laughs> expensive. It's a very expensive, but like, I don't know, it's like no chip damage. when You can't get killed by chip damage, so it's like... Oh, no, but on critical arts, you can. Yeah, but like, can it nullify reuse super though? Like, we don't even know this. Nah, I don't know if it will nullify a super, but it'd be funny if you use it to chip someone out. Yeah, yeah, it would be. So yeah, like you said, it combos after a jumping medium punch. You can also combo it after a Psycho Inferno. Yeah, yeah, we saw that, uh, Justin did that, I think. He yeah, went, like, he found jump, that out really early. Jump medium punch, uh, twice, land, Inferno, and it's a, it's a It's a light version of Psycho Inferno, by the way, guys, just so you know. So yeah, you can combo into it that way too, look really stylish. I just don't know if that was a counter hit specific. Yeah, combo. we're gonna have to test that out when the beta hits. So guys, we're just gonna show you on the screen a couple combos for a bison that we know of to just get you started when the beta hits so you know you don't just start mashing buttons and you kind of have an idea what kind of uh, combos that bison has. But otherwise, yeah man, this is the breakdown for the bison video and we'll be doing a breakdown for all the other characters to get you guys prepared for the beta. Uh, anything else you wanna add, Kelly? No? Alright man, uh, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.